Welcome guys. Okay, so uh, in this video, uh, we I want to prove this content is inequality. Okay, so remember that uh, we already proved like Pelly Sigma inequalities and uh, the famous like uh, Markov inequalities, Trebuchet inequalities. So there are still many uh, probability inequalities in the uh, in the probability theory. Okay, but uh, most of them are some of them are very famous uh, because very uh, I, I, I should say non trivial. Okay. So let's prove this uh, Cantelli's inequality. This, this, uh, this inequality, I also, I personally also feel like uh, it's uh, somewhat interesting. Okay. So the probability, that expert, okay. So let's read the uh, uh, read sentence. Okay. So the expectation value x, uh, okay. So x minus expectation value x greater probability greater than lambda can be, if lambda greater than zero, can be. Uh, bounded by uh, this one and uh, then the uh, less than zero can be bounded by this one. Uh, actually, uh, to prove, we only prove the uh, the first part because if we prove lambda greater than zero, the probability is bounded, then the uh, it's bounded above, then the definitely with lambda less than zero, it will uh, bound it uh, below. Yeah, so we will think very quickly. Yeah, so sigma square is a so called variance. Okay, so. Combine both, you can get this. Okay, so this is the weaker version of Chebyshev inequality because for a Chebyshev, uh, you get some variance, one over variance square, right? So something like this, and uh, this is so this is somehow like a weaker version. Okay. Okay, so uh, let me provide some details. Okay, so detail is that uh, let's write uh, write results. Okay, so when lambda greater than zero, uh, we can define y x x minus expectation value of x okay so that it will make e y become zero and the variance is still sigma squared okay and the reason is that I just take e y become e x minus e x so zero okay so for any u greater than zero uh, we have the probability x minus uh, e x greater than lambda basically it's probability y greater or equal to lambda it's the same as y plus u greater or equal to lambda plus u right? Okay, trivial, right? But uh, this is well less than the square of y plus u square. Wait till you go to lambda plus u square. Okay, so uh, one the first uh, probably the first non-trivial is this inequality, right? But you can think uh, think carefully because if you have some number which is square greater than something, then definitely there are there is a two chance, right? So if a square greater than b square, then uh, greater than zero, then definitely a will greater than b, right? Greater equal to b. But there's a still chance that a squared greater than b squared. Then uh, there is a chance that a is less than zero and b is less than zero. So a can be here, b can be here. So not it's not definite. So that means uh, this is just sub subset of this guy, right? So I can write as this. And uh, by the so by the so-called uh, Markov identity, right? We will prove the Markov inequality. So it's is expectation value y plus u squared. Divided by lambda, uh, divided by lambda plus u squared. Okay, so this is Markov uh, inequality. Okay, so uh, we get the expectation value y plus u squared, lambda plus u squared. Okay, so the denominator, uh, right, there's nothing we can do for the denominator, but the numerator, we get the e y squared plus two uh, y u plus u squared. Okay, and uh, for the e y for the e y square plus two y e y right e y is zero, so we got we got e y square uh, plus u square, lambda plus u square, and then notice that the e y square is basically e uh basically variance square right because e y is zero, so just sigma square plus u square plus lambda plus mu, uh, u square okay. Okay, so the answer is that uh, for any, so that means we for any mu greater than equal to zero, our our inequality is let, has a bound, right? Has a upper bound, uh, has an upper bound, s sigma square plus mu square divided by two, uh, sorry, divided by lambda plus mu square. So this is like, a, this is what? This is the upper bound. So in order to, uh, so what we need to do is that find such u, find such, let's say u star to make this bound, so there's an error analysis to make this bound as as what? 
as small as possible, right? As small as possible, because we want this bond to be tight, right? So that means we hopefully bond as as small as possible. So that means we need to find a minimum of such u. U star. Okay, so let's take a uh, let's go back to the undergrad and uh, do our lovely calculus. Okay, so let's say u equals to u star equals to zero. Okay, so you can check by yourself. Then the u star will be sigma squared divided by lambda, and then you put back in. Okay, so if you put back in, then uh, you can see the bond becomes so the bond becomes sigma squared plus lambda squared plus uh, sigma squared if lambda greater than zero. Yeah, that's a very uh, lovely result. Cute result. Uh, so I think the uh, the technique for this trick is that uh, uh, you need to find a such u star to make this bound uh, as small as possible. So this is the uh, the trick in the probability theory or like the analytic number theory that uh, if you see something uh, which is change uh, ch variant, then you you hope to find its ma uh, minimum or maximum. Okay. Okay. So the final uh, let's. Prove that let's uh, provide detail if lambda less than zero. So lambda less than zero is easy. We just let alpha equals minus lambda. Then uh, we will have the same result. So prob ex uh, less than lambda is just prob minus y larger than alpha. So by the results, what we have is sigma squared plus alpha squared plus sigma squared. So sigma squared plus sigma squared plus lambda squared. Okay. Okay, so then the, take the complement. Take the complement. And so if you take the complement, then this guy, the complement of this guy, this guy is e x, x minus e, because this is less than lambda, right? So we greater equal to lambda. Then we're going to then equal to one minus sigma squared plus lambda squared plus sigma squared if lambda less than zero, right? So uh, just take the complement, right? So the lower bound, the uh, the upper bound become the lower bound. Right, so just use one minus one minus this and one minus this. Okay, so this is the uh, the catalyst inequalities. So this is the inequalities also interesting, right? But uh, in the next video, uh, there are still like many inequalities, like a churn of bound the Gauss inequalities, and uh, uh, I think after I prove like three or four inequalities, then we will go to the the proof of the central limit theorem and the very easy theorem. Okay, so this is just some my summarized video for the probability theory, and be sure to subscribe to my channel. I will see you guys in the next videos.